hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that uh, how to insert uh, json data inside your mysql database table so in this process we will be inserting uh, bulk data at once using a php script which will automatically insert all the json data which is present inside this mysql database inside a table so first of all let me take a very basic example let me create a new table which i will call this table name will be user so there will be four columns id uh, name age and country so these are the four columns id will be auto incremented so we auto incremented you will see that after that we will this will be varchar this will be integer again this will be varchar 255 length and then we will create this table so it is saying user table already exists so we can say user data click save so this table is created you can see it has got four columns so currently it is empty you can see nothing is present here so right here we will now we will be creating this user.json file guys so inside your root directory wherever you are building your project uh, here you will be creating a object this will be uh, a name will be equal to you will be providing some ran random values age will be 25 uh, then country so in this way guys you can put as many records as possible here just put a comma so this is the array of objects So here you can change the name to any name of your choice. Change the country, change the age. So we can see we have defined four objects here. So we need to insert this data inside this table which is currently empty right now. So how to do this inside PHP script? So let me delete all this source code and start from scratch. So basically guys I have written all this uh, given all the source code inside the blog post that I have written on my website coding section. So this is a blog post which will contain all the source code. If you want this source code you can go to the description of this video to download all the source code. So here we are including jQuery also we are using bootstrap and bootstrap main.js this is not necessary we are just st styling the application for it so you can just don't write it is not mandatory for this application and this is a custom CSS all you will find it in the description of the video. So now guys I will write the source code step by step so just wait let me paste this code inside this notepad so that I can write so first of all guys we need to uh, inside our this one we need to have a PHP block so we need a connection to the database so here we will be having connect so mysql i connect method we will use and here we need to pass the host which is local host username which is default username is root password is nothing and the database is YouTube and after getting this uh, done guys now what we need to do is that we need to write uh, our we need to get we need to declare the variable query uh, which will be empty by default and also the table data variables so declare these two variables which will be currently empty by default after this we will fetch the file name which is present inside the same directory user.json so inside this file we have defined these data here that needs to be inserted so this data is static right now but it can be coming from an api you can make a request to the api all this data can be coming from an api as well so but in this video I will be showing the static data that you have defined here in this file so after this we just need to get the data here we need to first of all convert this to a array 
so we will first of all get the content by file get contents so this will get the JSON and now we need to convert this to an array so we will use JSON decode and pass the data and the second argument to true so this is converted to an array guys so now we can use the for each loop which is there we can pass this array and for each row array as row for each row we need to insert this to table so what we can do is right we can write our query variable so insert query so insert into the table name which was user data if you check I in initialize my table as user data so this is the table name and followed by the column name here guys so which is name this needs to be the same how you declared so these columns names you can go to the structure and type name age country so spelling has to be the same uh, after this you need to provide the values now so values will be equal to in single quotes you will write uh, dollar row so inside this we have got our name parameter first of all we need to close this so this is a name parameter if you closely look here we have got this name parameter which name age country this these spelling mistakes has to be same as well so if you have put capital here you need to write capital there so this needs to match here and similarly after this you will put a comma and I will just copy this one more time for the uh, age and country so here, will here you will replace age and country that's it put a semicolon so after this guys this is done now here we can also show the user the data which is inserted so in template string we can simply write in a bootstrap table which data is inserted so we can have this table data row uh, yes Uh, let me just paste it this is slightly complicated to write here this is also not mandatory we are just showing on the browser which data is inserted so it is not necessary for this script so that's okay now after this after the ins after this loop ends here here we will first of all check if the query is successful or not mysql i multi query so here guys we are inserted multiple records out there so that's why we are using mysql i multi query so here we are saying connect and query so our query was insert into user data so if it is successful then we will simply say inside h3 tag json data inserted successfully break tag and after that we will also show it inside the table like structure which data has been inserted so that the user must know which data has been inserted so inside a bootstrap table you can see we have given the bootstrap classes table table bordered this is not necessary but we are just for the user sake we are just telling them which data is inserted that's it after printing it out if I reload this application now you will now see this is currently empty here nothing is there if I reload the page so it is saying that uh, undefined index gender oh sorry I think we have this needs to be uh, age country and also here also yeah 
just make this change and i think the data was inserted successfully it was just a problem of displaying it if you refresh it the data was one row was inserted you will see that one again inserted you will see that now json data inserted successfully these are the four rows which got inserted if i check refresh it Uh, why it is only sh inserting the first row let me see there is a problem guys let me solve this so let me delete this it is only inserting the first uh, last row you can see that why it is that let me see uh, let me see insert into oh sorry we haven't put the dot symbol here so here we need to put the dot symbol the guys which is very much necessary dot equal to so this simply means that we are appending the data here inside this for each loop so we are looping through each record and we are appending it to the query parameter and then we are using mysqli multi query to insert those multiple records so just put that dot symbol if you now refresh it what happened let me refresh it. Uh, query dot. Uh, let me see, guys, what is the problem now? I think I have made a mistake in somewhat typing here that's why it is showing that error uh, let me paste this code once again so let me paste it all this code name age and country So now if you hopefully if I refresh it the data will be inserted you will see all these four records it is inserted and if I refresh it now user data oh sorry the table name is user data not user so that that was so this PHP code is so much tough guys to write every time you get an error here you can see now the inserted data is there you can have as many records as possible here just go to user.json and if I copy this paste it so now we have got eight records so once again if I reload the script if I refresh you will now see eight more records will be added so this is not taking into account the duplicate records it is also inserting dupli duplicate records but you can also put the functionality that only the unique rock records will be inserted you can just put a if condition just check for the name if it is already present then don't uh, insert that you can do it yourself but this is the idea of how to insert from a json data file to your mysql database table so this is bulk data insertion php script which is available here if you want to get all the source code you can go to the description of the live stream Please hit the like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.